In today's video, we're going to explore Lincoln Estates, Lincoln Oaks, and Brighton on the Bay, which are neighborhoods nestled near Lincoln Bay and are located off First Colonial Road near Centera Virginia Beach General Hospital. We're gonna look at the map, take a tour of these neighborhoods, review price points, and go over the school zoned, as well as local attractions. Let's start with the map. So as you can see, these neighborhoods are not only close to the hospital as well as a plethora of medical institutions, but they're also about 10 minutes away from the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, about five minutes away from the interstate, and near plenty of shopping and restaurants. In today's video, we're going to start with Lincoln Estates, which covers the most ground of these three neighborhoods. And homes in this neighborhood range in price greatly. And it goes without saying that there's a wide variety of sizes as well as a noticeable difference in price when it comes to precise location in this area. Obviously, if you're looking for a home located on Lincoln Bay, homes on the water will be at a higher price point. Over the last year, as of today, May 23rd, 2022, nine homes sold in this neighborhood, with the lowest one being a two-bedroom, one-bathroom home with 1,106 square feet. It was a refurbished 1940 built home for $400,000. The one that sold for the most was a two-story brick home with five bedrooms and four bathrooms. 4,700 square feet with nearly an acre and a cul-de-sac with a pool built in 1992 and that one sold for $936,000. There are actually no HOA fees in this neighborhood and you may have heard me in another video talk about how there are plenty of neighborhoods within Virginia Beach without HOA fees where it is apparent that the residents care about the appearance of their home and I would beg to say that this is one of those neighborhoods. Hugging the coastline of the bay, you will find Lincoln Oaks. You can find this neighborhood from driving through Lincoln Estates. These homes are immaculate and with an array of interesting architecture. sold over the last year as of today, May 23rd, 2022, with the lowest one being a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home built in 2019 with 4,147 square feet for $1,480,000. That's actually $80,000 over list price. The one that sold for the most was a seven bedroom home with five full bathrooms and three half bathrooms 10,825 square feet built in 2006 with over three and a half acres for nine and a half million dollars. And yes, this home was located on the water. Also, I did my best to give you a view of the bay without walking through anybody's backyard. This neighborhood does have an HOA fee of about $17 per month. The next neighborhood we're going to explore is Brighton on the Bay. This one is north of Lincoln Estates and Lincoln Oaks, and there are several homes on the water as well. The main entrance for Brighton on the Bay is off Mildam Road, next to First Colonial High School. And as of today, May 23rd, 2022, three homes sold in this neighborhood. And this home was a four bedroom, three bathroom home with 3,100 square feet, built in 1988. And that one sold for $711,600. The home that sold for the most was a brick six bedroom home with three bathrooms and 4,200 square feet built in 1991. And that had a final sales price of $935,320. Although there aren't a bunch of homes turning each year, homes in these higher price ranges tend to stay on the market just a little bit longer than other homes in Virginia Beach because of their price tag. But Lincoln Estates does have a broader range of prices of these three neighborhoods. 
So if you're looking for something around the five, six hundred thousand dollar range, you'll likely find something there. All right, so let's get into the school zoned for these neighborhoods. The schools zoned include the following. Allenton Elementary, which is encompassed within the neighborhood of Allenton. And the neighborhood of Allenton kind of blends through Brighton on the Bay. Allenton Elementary has a ranking of seven out of 10 on greatschools.org. The middle school zoned in this neighborhood is Lynn Haven, and it has a score of six out of 10 according to greatschools.org. Please note that the scores for the middle schools and the elementary schools are determined by three categories, including test scores, academic progress, and equity. The high school for these neighborhoods is First Colonial High School, which is very close by, and they have a score of five out of 10, which includes the categories of test scores, college readiness, and equity. And equity. Unfortunately, equity is where the schools have their lowest number, and I know as a former teacher that the school district is working on this piece in particular, and it is my hope that as time goes on, we become more equitable as a whole in all aspects of our culture. If you're looking for a private school, Cape Henry Collegiate is right around the corner next to First Colonial High School, and they provide education for pre-K through 12th grade, and they're best known for their arts and their athletic programs. All right, let's move on to local attractions. Lincorn Bay and Broad Bay can be seen across the water from surrounding neighborhoods, but also from First Landing State Park, which includes several walking trails that run along the banks of these bays and throughout the woods in these areas, as well as the beaches along the north end. There are a couple of entrances to First Landing, but my favorite one is the one on the north end of the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Other local attractions include the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, which has several festivals and events throughout the year, especially starting now that summer is kicking off. You can see live music every night of the week. I recommend checking out the Hunt Room at the Cavalier Hotel if you, you don't have to be a guest to drop in this hotel to visit any of their restaurants. And as an added bonus, they have complimentary valley parking. There are also some great local restaurants to choose from with eclectic menus such as Eurasia and Tempt. If you're looking for a realtor in Hampton Roads, I would love to work with you. Shopping is my hobby and house shopping is my passion. My name is Michelle Stanek. I'm with Century 21 Top Producers in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I serve all of Hampton Roads. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.